Hi guys, my name is Vivek and in this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the difference between row ID and row num. So row ID is a pseudo column associated with every row in the table, which returns the physical address of the row. Well, row number pseudo column, it actually gives the order in which the data was retrieved from the select statement. Now what exactly these two statements means? Let's go ahead and understand this with a simple example. So I have an employee table and as I have mentioned in my previous tutorials, block is the fundamental unit of storage in Oracle. So all the data pertaining to table or indexes are stored in forms of blocks. So I have my employee table, the first row which is Vivek with the employee ID 1 who works for the IT department. This particular row is stored in a block with a unique address and that address is stored in a pseudo row ID column for this particular row. The same will happen for my second employer Roger who works for the marketing department. It will have its own unique address which will be stored in its row ID column and that will continue to happen for all the rows that are going to get inserted. Nina will have its own address stored in row ID column. The same will happen for Leo and Victor and Eddie who works for uh, who works as business analyst and support employees. So all these rows will have a unique address on disk which is being reflected by the pseudo column row ID and this particular address is never going to change no matter what how you access your data. So let's see how this row ID columns looks like. So it's a hexadecimal value and this is uh, how it looks like. So for the row where uh, the employee name is Vivek, this is the row ID. And if you see the last literal of all four rows is different for Vivek. The last literal is A. For Roger, the last literal is B. For Leo, C and for Nina, D. So row ID is the physical address of the data on disk while row number is the order in which Oracle selects the row from a table or set of joined rows. So row number will actually vary and it depends upon how the data is being retrieved. In order to understand these terms a little more, let's go to our SQL developer. So I have ran this query on my employee table. If you see my row ID is a hexadecimal number each one of which is a unique value while my row number is an integer when I ran this query what happened Oracle returned the rows in a certain manner in a certain order and the first row that was returned was employee ID 100 which was assigned the row number 1 the second row returned was 101 it was assigned the row number 2 and so on we can actually use row number to our advantage if we want to reduce the number of rows. So if you if I want to retrieve only 10 rows, what I can do is I can go ahead and write like this. And it will give me only 10 rows. So let's quickly recap how Oracle functions here. As soon as I ran this query, Oracle selected the details of all employees and returned it in a certain fashion. The first row that was returned was assigned the row number one. The second row that was returned was assigned the row number two and so on. And when a bunch of rows were returned, I applied it applied the filter that it only wants to get the rows where the row number is less than 11. And I got these 10 rows. Now, if you see Nancy here has the row number as nine and the row ID as eight. Now I am claiming that no matter what the row ID is not going to change while the row number can change. Let's see if that claim is true. So right now the row ID for Nancy ends with I and the row number is nine. Now I have a different query and I'm going to run it. I'm picking just one row. So if you see the row number has changed from eight to one while the row ID is still the same. So how it happened? Oracle ran the query and it identified that it only has to return one row. And as soon as the first row was returned, the row number one was associated to it. 
if there was another row to be returned after this the row number two would have been associated with that now how oracle assigns this particular row number let's understand that so this was my second query where i was returning 10 rows based on the row number when i run the explain plan for this particular query i will see that oracle is doing a full table scan let's quickly see that so i'm running the explain plan for this particular sql and i will see that it performed a full table scan a table access full and it retrieved the rows in a certain manner so that the employee id 100 was retrieved first followed by 101 then 102 and so on and according to that the row numbers were assigned accordingly now what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep my query the exact same but i'm going to attach an order by statement along with it and we will see how our row number is being affected by that now pay close attention if you see the rows that are being returned by this query we have 100 to 109 employees id from steven to daniel if i add a order by clause this is going to change and we will see how so this is my new query the only thing that i have changed is i have ordered it by email and we will see if we'll get the same results or not so if you see here the results are totally different we are not getting the same employee ids and the row numbers are different so instead of steven we have amit and we have alexis so all these values have changed let's understand what's the reason behind this change so in my earlier query we were doing a full table scan and we were retrieving the data on the basis of that and we were getting results from steven to daniel now when i used email in my order by clause instead of doing a full table scan on the table it actually accessed the email index first and it identified the order in which the rows should be retrieved so it identified that amit should be retrieved first followed by alexa and so on so the order of select was changed and that's why the row number was assigned to amit instead of steven so here if you see the explain plan for this query instead of doing a full table scan it's doing a index full scan and it's identifying or dictating that you have to return the rows in this particular order based on email so the order of retrieval for our select has changed and that's the reason why we see different employees for the same row number so it's the select statement that actually dictates what row number is being assigned to which row so row number is not something that will remain constant it will change with our select query as the retrieval order will change our row number will also change while row id for a particular row will always remain constant because it's the physical address where the row is being stored so let's just do a quick recap row id is the physical address of the row where it's being stored on the disk it's a constant hexadecimal value that will remain the same no matter how you execute the query it's not going to change row number is the order in which the rows are being returned for a select query from a table or an ordered join i hope this clarifies what is the difference between these two if you have any confusion you can drop in the comment and i will try to reply as soon as possible that's it for this particular video tutorial uh, if you want to see more such videos please do subscribe to my channel and thanks a lot guys for watching this particular video